peace and blessings, gals and pals. <laughs> I'm Io of PointTheLife.com. I am your sister. I recently did a prosperity consciousness class that was off the chain for a lot of reasons. <laughs> um, but anyway, I um, promised you all that I would be telling you how to use your seven day candles. They come in the glass, sometimes called jar candles. Okay. It's the tall, slim candle in glass. Okay. Um, so you can read books, right? Like one of the books that I have that I like it's called Simple Spells for Success by Barry Dalnick. And I just breezed through this book sometimes. It has some really good stuff in here. And I really, really like it. Um, but what I was told by a mentor who is a witch and a shaman was that she would expect nothing less than for me to write my own uh, prayers and spells, uh, but that I could use other people's spells and prayers um, if I wanted to, just as a guidance, just as assistance. And this is really good because it can tell you um, what it means when the moon wanes or when it waxes and what it means if... Um, it's a certain day of the week. It can tell you which planet rules that day and what energies are most available those days. So it's really, really good um, information. But here's what I want to say about using a seven-day candle. It's all fun. Whatever feels right to you, do that. Okay? So I have some red roses here. Rose petals. And I have some holy basil. Okay? So what you can do is you can go online and look up what different um oh my hair is crazy. Um look up what certain herbs mean. Okay? Um and then I also have this one too. It's still a cool. Blessed thistle. So I'm gonna just do with the rose petals. Um Green is for money, it's for success and business, and can be for success and love as well. Um, roses are usually going to be for love or beauty, okay? So, success and love relationships, success and work, uh, doing work that I'm passionate about, doing work that I love. What I like to do is just spend time with the candle and just put my intention into the candle. I also love to put sprinkles in the candles. One of my favorite prosperity authors, um, Catherine Ponder, says that there is literally gold dust in the air. Oh man, this looks so pretty. So I put some, some pink glitter in there. You see how pretty it is? And I'm going to put some gold because Catherine Ponder says that there's literally gold dust in the air. And she's talking about the ethers, that infinitely um, present, ever present um, intelligent substance of the universe. And I like to use some protection oil. Um, this protection oil also has some herbs in it. It has camphor, vervain essential oils, myrrh essential oil, jojoba oil. Um, and of course, your essential oils are just pounds and pounds, like tons of herbs. Okay, that have been pressed for what some people call the lifeblood of the herb. And I like to go around the rim with the oil just to protect, just for protection from, you know, not from anything in particular, but just to know that I'm safe, that what's mine is mine, it's coming to me. Um, 
And you can also go around left. Left brings things into you. You receive with the left motion. If you're doing a protection spell or a reversal spell, if you want, <laughs> um, then you can do right and send that energy back out. Okay? Some people like to um, put oil around the outside of their candle like this to bring their desire down, down into the earth, kind of creating a spiral, okay? Um, or some people call that a coil. I got some more gold. I'm going to put that in there too. And you get to see how pretty it is. And just the reason that we burn candles and understand that this is witches ain't the first person to think of using fire. You know what I mean? Um, magicians, uh, Catholics, voodoos, people use candles. Um, and the cool thing, even if you know, you know, you have a soldier who's away, you might light a candle in the window. It's just during Christmas times, you, you have candles. During Kwanzaa, people use it for different things. The reason that we use it, especially when we desire to draw prosperity to us, is... See how pretty it is in there? Can you see? The reason we do it is as a reminder. When you see it, your mind automatically thinks, "My more wealth is on its way to me. My money is on its way to me. It's really cool, too, if you write a little prayer out for yourself and read it and meditate on it before you um <laughs> doing the most right now <laughs> it's really cool if you write out a spell or a prayer um that you read to charge your candle with the energy i'm also going to put in a little rose quartz and the cool thing about it is the herbs will catch fire and it'll be a big fire. It's really cool. And then when it burns all the way down, your stone will be in the bottom. And it'll be charged with all your energy. You can carry around your stone. And it's just a reminder. When you look at it, it's just a reminder. Um, but I like to tell um, people that, you know, witchcraft, like any other religion, is an ancient, not any, because some of these are not as old as others, but it's an ancient um practice or science or method of self-transformation it's a lot of work and self-control and responsibility taking <laughs> um, and forgiveness and love and, and heightening of consciousness and expanding of consciousness and really which is just a word you could call it a lot of other things and you would still be talking about the same stuff you know um, but things don't happen just because you light a wick. You don't just light this and sit in a corner and wait for it to happen. You are receptive to divine, uh, intuitive uh, urgings and compulsions to take certain actions. And you take those inspired actions. You make things happen because your thought is what brings the thing to you. Your thought is what attracts what you want to you. But by action, you receive it. And that's Waddle D. Waddles who said that. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I'm about to light my candle. I'm going to speak. I'm going to pray so that when I look at this over the next seven days, and also I love it when they burn fast because that means the thing is coming to you fast, fast, fast. Um, and they take a little bit slower. This means that you have some extra time to really let your ideas of expansion and wealth and increase saturate your consciousness. So it's great either way, whether it's faster or, or it burns slow. And I like to sit with it and really get... Uh, centered and you'll find it's just beautiful to have candles lit in your house. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Um, as promised, I am releasing this video and we will be having a gathering for the women and children um, over at Kiamsha House on the Equinox, the 20th of March. Doors open at 6. For more information, hit me up. Love you. Bye.